What is the name of your team? The name is called Sticks of Stroud. That's S-T-Y-X, as in the classical Greek river, which kind of reflects the sort of goth underworld feeling zeitgeist, if you like, that you get with Border Morris. What is your style of Morris dancing called? We're Border Morris dancers, so our style comes from the um, the counties that border the English, England and Wales, so um, yeah, where we are today, Herefordshire, down to Gloucestershire. What's unique about your style of dancing? For me, I think it's the energy. Um, we're, you know, a high impact, lump, jumping, shouting, dancing, clashing sticks, which is where the play on words, the pun comes in. What's the inspiration behind the kit? Um, it's traditionally it's a method, it's a form of disguise. Um, going back in the day when when this, these sorts of dances were were being done and they were illegal, I, I think. Yeah, you know, people used to get kicked out of places for doing them uh, because they were begging. I think you know it was a way of getting money. So the coat with the tatters, these shaggy bits. You know, you'd make an outfit because these people were you know didn't have any money they'd make an outfit of whatever they could our top hats were sort of parodying the um you know the hoi polo the, the posh lot um wearing hats um our colors a lot of border sides are black anyway but our colors red comes from the stroud water scarlet fabric that was made in stroud our, our hometown and the greens come from the fact that we also make uh, tennis balls there although we didn't like the green of the tennis balls so we went for a darker darker colour. Oh, so like <laughs> yeah. We came up with this design because we thought it would probably scare children and make dogs bark. <laughs> and actually we're right. <laughs> it does.